the uh, Jonathan York Bay Financial Partners uh, looking at investment markets. Uh, surprise move by the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia yesterday, cutting interest rates again by another quarter point. That takes them down to a record low now of uh, 2.25. Um, took the market a little bit by surprise. Uh, there had been some uh, economists who were looking uh, for that move. But it's interesting, you know, that comes against the backdrop of some pretty decent uh, um, employment data coming out of Australia. Market should be poised now for uh, certainly unchanged rates now for the next sort of uh, four to five months as we wait for the impact of this to come through. But certainly as well, the data coming of Australia is a little bit mixed, but there are some encouraging signs out there of some reasonable growth coming forward. Um, so possibly uh, a good opportunity certainly uh, for uh, New Zealand investors to look at some of those Aussie shares, especially given the currency, um, the, the, the cross rate at the moment, uh, that, that uh, could prove to be uh, quite... Uh, um, profitable over the next uh, sort of uh, 18 to 20 months. Elsewhere, oil seems to have stabilised now around this sort of 45 to 50 dollars. Uh, pushing a little bit above that uh, this morning uh, and it's giving uh, a, a little bit of a boost out there to some of these uh, um, oil stocks. Um, interesting uh, US car makers as well have just reported uh, the best January, uh, most of the big car makers out there reported the best January for uh, about the last seven years. Of course, all eyes will be on the unemployment data for, uh, from the US uh, at the end of this week. Um, still looking for about 180 to 200,000 jobs to be created. Um, and certainly the US seems to be pushing on a pretty reasonable rate. Uh, you've got some, some very encouraging numbers down out there. Um, the only sort of issue is really this uh, inflation side, um, where that's still a little bit of pressure out there and still on a little bit of a downward track. Uh, but most economists and analysts are still looking for uh, interest rates to start to move in the US um, around sort of June, July uh, of this year. Um, and that will be the first of sort of many as the US looks to get back to a more sort of neutral stance on interest rates from the uh, very low base they're currently at. Here in New Zealand, seeing a bit of pressure on mortgage rates as they're starting to nudge down a little bit. Um, sort of quite interesting, you know, sort of 12, 18 months ago, uh, most people were being told to sort of fix their mortgages and interest rates were on the, uh, on the rise. Certainly they have risen over that period, but now we're starting to see uh, a little bit of a, a, a dovetail on, that, uh, on, on those uh, mortgage rates. Um, will they look to go higher? Um, consensus is still for the interest rates will move higher in New Zealand. Um, it's just a question of when, whether it'll be later in this year. Um, that's probably unlikely. It's more than likely now early 2016. So to summarise, it's uh, quite a good opportunity to review that uh, share portfolio. So if you do have any Australian exposure and just, just uh, look at the, uh, the exchange rate that you got into and, and see whether it's worthwhile adding to these sort of rates. Um, New Zealand, say so interest rate market looks pretty much on hold. There is a little bit of activity out there in some of these annual resets and they, they, still, they still represent some, some pretty good value out there. Um, U.S. continues to be on sort of onwards and upwards, and Europe really had a pretty sort of quiet week. Uh, but again, you know, with that quantitative easing announced uh, recently uh, from Aaron Draghi, um, the, uh, the uh, excuse me, um, Europe still looks in pretty good shape.